Hello folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements 2022, looking at some of the new features in the program. Now, if you've been using the program for a while, you know that the program has a very nice system for automatically setting up its project settings to match whatever media you use or the initial media you use in the project. In other words, if I were to go up here to my project assets and drag a 1920 by 1080 video down to video track one, the program is going to automatically recognize that and set up the project. And I can see that if I go under here to project settings, set up the project to match the specs of that video. And that's a very nice feature in the program. However, we live in an era of social media and some of the social media sites require different dimensions for your video. Sometimes you want a square video. Sometimes you'd like a video that maybe you shot with a phone, holding your phone upright, and you want a video that is taller than it is wide. Nicely enough, the program now has options for creating videos to match those aspect ratios. To get to them, I'm just going to go to the File menu and select New Project. Don't worry about this. And here on my new project screen, I have options not only for standard video dimensions, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, the old television standard, but we also have portrait, square, and some social media. And under here under social media, you have some preset sizes, depending on whether you're posting a Facebook story or a Facebook post. Some of these are more square. Some of these are taller than they are wide. Instagram, for instance, an Instagram video is going to be a square video. Just to demonstrate, I want to select square here. And before I click OK, I want to make sure that I force those settings on my project. Otherwise, this feature that automatically sets up the program to match whatever media you use in it is going to change your settings. We don't want that to happen. So check this box that says force project settings to this project. And I'll click OK. And we'll click yes in this case we're just going to save over the default project that won't happen if you name your project and now we have a square frame and to demonstrate i'm just going to grab some media here drag it to my timeline and you see that my frame here is square based on the instagram setting that we chose in our project settings now, not only does it change your project settings but you'll also find some new options here under export and share in the past, our options were just basically 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. But now if you look under devices, you'll see output options for an ultra high definition square project, a wide project, a tall project. Now these vary depending on what project settings you chose. In other words, if you chose a widescreen, you're going to have different options here for aspect ratio than if you set up your project to be taller than it is wide. And you can experiment and see those. But this is very nice, especially for people who have been wanting to make other than the standard 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 videos in Premiere Elements. Very nice feature. Let's go back here to the new window just for a second. I want to show you one more thing. And not only do you have some preset options here, but if you go over here to the More button and select View All Presets, here we have every aspect ratio that's available in the program as presets. And if you prefer to go the old fashioned way and choose your project settings based on video standard resolutions, you can do that by clicking this button here or this tab here and we get back to you recognize these if you've been working in the program for a while. Uh, these are the standard ultra high definition, high definition, AVC HD light and standard definition project presets. If you choose to go this route, we have a complete description of all of these presets and how to use them in the book. But for those of you creating video for various social media sites, you now have options for creating your video according to the specs of Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Vimeo, and YouTube. Now, if you want to know more about this program, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. You want to know everything about them, you want the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It is available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the book and hope to see you again real soon.